Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. Be a review on the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturising Photo Edition Foundation. Comes in this packaging. So it's really nice, sleek, silver packaging. <clears throat> you get 30ml, so it's the same amount as your standard foundation. I went for the shade Beige Ivory. Now I did just do this online. I believe I got it off from Beauty Bay or Feel Unique, one of the two. Um, I, not shade, um, shade. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's gonna be the right shade for me. So what I'm gonna do is I've got nothing on my face at the moment, completely bare face. I'm going to start off by um, putting the number seven airbrush away primer on my right hand side of the face and leave the left side free because I want to see if it works best with or without a primer. So I'm just going to start applying that. Mm like that so my right hand side of my face is primed my left hand side is not the it comes in a plastic squeezy tube and that's the packaging I don't know if you can see whether or not it's picking up really I'm not sure and now ugh. so straight away look it's quite liquidy because it's just gone everywhere. It actually looks like it's separated a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a few dots all over my face. So I think this is quite a good match. Uh, okay. Few dots like that. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit. I'm going to use my trusty Jeffree Star mirror because that's what I use all the time. It's just perfect. I'm going to blend this in using a Real Technique Expert face brush. Okay. So oh my god it smells so nice i'm not even joking it smells like apple <laughs> it's so nice it smells really fresh so actually the shade is spot on for me at the moment so that i'd say probably was half a pump on my face that i've just put on there and that's a very light coverage for me like you can still see um some of my redness coming through like from my acne scarring there so i'm actually going to go in with a little bit more and we're going to see how that builds up so i'm going to dot a few more And see if this is buildable because you know you're paying like good money for this stuff and you want it to be worth it so let's put it to the test let's see if it's a buildable foundation I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> <coughs> And again <sighs> hands up if you've got hay fever me horrible so but oh got it in my hair let's build this up sniffly okay 
so guys and girls you are going to be pleased to know <laughs> that it is most definitely a buildable foundation that is probably for me as heavy as I'd go with this I don't actually feel like I need any more cover like I feel that's nice like this by the way guys if you're wondering is not a spot it's a mole had it all my life funnily enough is <laughs> attached to my body um, that's a really beautiful finish I'd say that's like a satin to a dewy finish so if you've got quite oily skin you're probably not going to enjoy this <laughs> because um, at the moment it's not mattifying it just makes you have a nice healthy glow to your skin um, it does say shake well on the bottle which is probably why it's squirted out everywhere which is a bit <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more on just around here because I feel like some of my redness is just peeking through a little bit just around there so tiny bit like this and I'm just put that on each cheek and then I'm just going to sort of push it into my skin rather than um, rubbing it around. I'm just going to pat it into the skin so it pushes into all the pores rather than just sitting flat on top of them. That's better. That's gorgeous I'm actually really happy with this foundation and the way that it looks so can we just have a look so it's covered all my redness it's given me a nice healthy glow to my skin um, it's ever so slightly tacky at the moment but I'm going to set this with a tiny bit of powder anyway so what I'm going to do it is at nine o'clock well half past nine I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna go and run some errands I sound so American. I'm gonna go and do some jobs and go outside and go out and do stuff like normal people. And I'll come back and check in with you and we'll see how this foundation is holding up. So I will see you in a little while guys. Bye bye. Hi guys, so it is towards the end of my day now. I thought I'd do like a final check in for you guys. Um, so I filmed about nine o'clock this morning. It's now 20 to seven, if I can show you oh, Wait, yeah. And so I've had this on for about, wait, 10 hours, coming up 10 hours, the foundation. Um, and let's see how it's actually held up. Um, well, okay, so it's come off a little bit round my chin. And a little bit here. So you can see some like redness areas here and round my nose but please like bear in mind that um 
I've had a cold and uh, I have been like blowing my nose quite a lot and also I'm one of these people that touch their face like a hundred times a day that's not even a joke like I'm like this so I'll be sitting there like this or that I touch it all the time around here so it's um other than obviously where I've been blowing my nose around here and a little bit of pigmentation's come off it's actually held up really nicely it's uh, still looking nice and dewy it's not clung to any of my dry spots and I have quite dry skin naturally um, so normally that's a problem for me but it's, it looks really nice I'll insert a flashback um, picture anytime now and as you can see there's a tiny little bit of flashback um, not much so it's, it looks quite nice in photos skin looks flawless um, other than that I'd say I'm really quite impressed with it I think my skin still looks relatively nice mm. what do you think Give me any uh, comments down below. Tell me what you think, and if you'd ever, um, if you've ever tried this before yourself. Uh, but for ten hours of wear, and I've not touched this up once, it is is pretty damn good. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this foundation for sure. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video so much. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've had a lovely day and I will catch up with you guys again soon. Take care guys. Bye bye.